So, Chris, we talk about the main event, but the undercard is so stacked. For example, one of the fights of the night could possibly be Louis King versus Yassine El Marabit. This could match the main event. El Marabit is a monster. Trained from Mike's gym, these guys really know how to finish fights, Malcolm. Always comes forward off hard straight punches and loves to work his way into the clinch. I really think he's going to have his hands full against Louis K.O. King, though, tonight. I agree with you totally. King, such a devastating puncher. But this is where Morabit needs to really get in close. He can dirty box. He clinches well. He knees well. Because if it's at range, we saw what King did to mark the wizard weird. This is a veteran of the highest nature. He took him out in a round. And I'm talking, took him out, put him to sleep. I love watching the King brothers. And Louis K.O. King, with a recent move to double K, has really put all the pieces together. He's got an excellent training regime. And in my opinion, he's fighting the best he's ever fought in his life. He's really going to go after Morabit tonight and try to finish this one early. We know he's got the power to finish this one early. And I cannot wait because these two are going to go out there and stand and trade heavy leather. And when heavy leather is traded, people go down. Trust me, stay with us. Do not make a cup of tea for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we get ready for more K1 action. Please welcome first up to the cage. Yassin El Morabit. Another big international matchup, and more importantly, two more big, big hitters. This one could be an absolute war as Yassin El Morabit enters the cage, Chris. One of the two individuals in charge of entertaining the audience for this one, Yassin. An absolute animal, King Kong power, and a guy at this weight, I'm telling you right now, fighting out of Mike's gym, fast hands, great defense, Malcolm, and very happy to stand inside in the pocket. That's one of the things that impressed me so much about him, is when he's up close, he brings the vicious knees in. He fights inside naturally. He still finds the shots, he still finds the angles. And he also knows that once he backs you up, Again, it's something that's going to be important tonight in the cage. He backs you up and does not let you off the hook. You never get any moment to reset and recover once he's pushed you to the edge of space. And again, with the geometry at play tonight and a slightly different setting, it's going to be a factor, one that could be in his favor. And his opponent, please welcome to cage side, Louis King. Now, you talked of that as a factor, and against this man, he is going to need that sort of skill set because we are talking a man with vicious one punch knockout power. You don't believe me? Ask Mark the Wizard Weir. You want to check a MMA legend? It's Mark the Wizard Weir. One round, clean, clean KO. The King Brothers representing a talent renowned for KO power. These guys are dangerous at all times. And I love what we've seen from Louis in recent times. He's had some exceptional wins on some high, high level shows recently. Only last month, Chris. I'm telling you, this guy's gonna be so confident. Pressure, not a factor. Phoenix fight night, a clear opportunity. A guy like Yesen Almorabit across in the ring. This guy loves every minute of it. So, recently swapping a double K gym. Shout out to Kieran Kettle and the crew there in the corner, one of the very best stand-up coaches right now in the country. And he's really worked the magic and fine-tuning the powerful ability of Louis K.O. King to a very disciplined approach. He'll be able to go out there with a game plan tonight, a game plan that'll be entertaining, but a game plan that'll land big power in a way where he can capitalize against a very dangerous opponent in Yesin. Well, the thing is, great fighters don't always become great coaches. But Kieran Kettle has made that transition superbly, Chris. Look, there's been times when the King guys have come out so aggressive and leave themselves open. But this guy's been really working on his checking ability, really responding well with his hands when his opponent pressures. So we're going to see it all go down tonight. Louis K.O. King taking on Yes and Elmer Robin. Let's go back to Buddy Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, Phoenix Fight Nights presents three professional K1 bouts in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Weighed in at 86.5 kilograms and represents Mike's gym. Give it up for Yasin El Morabit. 
and his opponent fighting at the red corner, weighed in at 86 kilograms and represents double K. Give it up for Louis K.O. King! Let the action begins, your referee in charge, Lauren Castle. What excites me most about this bout, Chris, is very simple. Louis King will leave himself open to the counter to land the big knockout blow. Yassine El Morabit is great on the counter when you're against the cage. He will actually maybe give his opponent the opportunity he needs, but if Morabit doesn't capitalize, he could be kissing canvas. There's one thing I can guarantee, and that is going to be controlled chaos from these two. A testament to the level of matchmaking tonight here on Phoenix. We get ready, it's King taking on Morabit, the Netherlands versus the UK. Yes, and two heavy, heavy hitters. As I said, King, I fancy at range. If I was Morabit, I'd get inside, work him inside, because at range, King carries the one thing you can't give someone, they just have to have it, natural, raw power. I love how King is staying there, leaning off the center line, watch for that right kick to come in again when he leans to the left. But Morabit is waiting, and it's only gonna take a moment for him to explode. Well, this is the thing, as I said, Morabit impressed me so much at close quarter and Sim brings knees instinctively into the game as well. The two are striking simultaneously right now. Nice check again from Morabit. Going upstairs with a right round kick to counter. Mawashi Gary just skimming over the head of King. And then King comes in. The moment he gets hit, it's like a switch. This is the thing that so impressed me, the way he's able to stay in the pocket and make you just miss so that he can counter. I saw it when I was, I was researching him and I thought, wow, the power he carries is also, as you said, he's developed technically as well under KK. He went for the inside low kick and actually pulled it back because he realized that Yesen was going to check it. There you go, see a real light entry off that inside low kick to punches. And again, the reply from Yesen is just a slight movement at the head and shoulders to take his head out of the way. A game of inches and timing right now here in Phoenix. Yes, and leading with the cross and going to the jab. I like he walks forward with that to close in. He's got to get inside, as you said. Now, left it's That's the it. left hook. That's it's the all the over. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. If Yesen Almarabin is able to continue after that flurry. You I said controlled mayhem, Chris. The way he timed it to perfection. He didn't rush. He waited. Can Morabit still be in there? I stand corrected. He took a nosedive there. I thought that was it. I think he's still definitely rocked, but King's going to take his time here. Oh, and he just misses with the right as well, but that's the danger for Morabit. Left or right, it doesn't matter. Deep breath from Al Morabit there. Look at that. This is where he's good. This is where he needs to be, because he's felt King's power. He knows where he is at range. Get in close and do that again, but he... He had another left there. Oh, and there, he's rocked again. This is going to be all over very soon if he keeps taking these. <laughs> Elmer Rabbit is one tough customer because Louis King has thrown everything but the kitchen sink at him. And he's still standing, Malcolm. Oh, oh. his own right hand. Incredible response. Beautiful body shot. This is where he's good. This, and I see the knee comes in instinctively. That's where Marabit needs to keep it now. He's going to be warned about how long he clinches. But you've seen exactly where he needs to keep it, Chris, to counter Louis King. The mouthpiece. Oh! He's not countering that one. That left hand, it's all over. Unbelievable. Chris, so much in so little time. Marabit coming back. But that last left hook was from hell. Marabit got clipped. The mouthpiece actually slipped out. Marabit somehow dragged it back in with his tongue and teeth and then ate another punch. That left hook came all the way, torqued from the hips of King. Unbelievable, the way that guy creates power is a spectacle to behold, Malcolm. Incredible. Do we have a sponsor in the fight here? A sponsor. Round of applause for both fighters this evening, come on! This round ended 2 minutes 56 seconds of the first round. Your winner by knockout in the red corner, Louis K.O. King!
I'm here with Louis King, the man they nicknamed by K.O. Louis, I think you've definitely been earning your nickname and living up to it lately, my man. Thank you very much, mate. I mean, uh, I've got these men, Kieran Kettle, my brother, Charlie Peters, the Whelan boys, Luca, Jamie. Uh, there's, there's many names to mention, but I owe all this to them boys since we've been with these lads. They turn us all around, man. And uh, I love my new gym. These boys are the rule, I tell you. Now, clearly the King brothers have been out in force lately, but that transition to the Double K team is really up to your game. What do you feel the difference was in establishing the counter to nail him tonight with that left hook? For one, having a decent coach, uh, which we've never had before. So this man has given us some serious direction in life. And I owe everything, man. There's some massive plans happening next year. So I owe it to these boys. Very impressed with your performance. Highlight real worthy stuff in the last month from you, young man. We look forward to seeing you again back here in Phoenix. Louis K.O. King, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>